So you've maxed your account and now you are bored. Hey guys, what is up? It is No Help and welcome back to another video. Today, if you guys liked the video, make sure to smash the like button and maybe even consider subscribing for more. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about what to do after you max. A lot of people have been telling me in the uh, last few weeks that uh, you can now play the game. So what does this mean exactly? A lot of people when they max their account, they think they are fully done the account and they kind of just get burnt out of the game because they do not know what to do anymore, right? If you look at my levels right here, for example, what is, what can I train? And like, you know, going for post XP doesn't really do too much on old school RuneScape. So what is the point of it all? In today's video, I'm going to be trying to explain on multiple different things that you can go ahead and do to keep you motivated to keep playing your RuneScape account, Iron Man or not. By the end of this video, I really hope that you guys will continue to play your accounts after you max them and even have more fun than going for the maxing. First of all, you can go ahead and sit back and relax because now there is nothing that you have to do on this game. Now, you never have to do anything, but if you wanted to go for the max cape, there were there were a hundred things that you didn't like doing, whether it be this quest, whether it be getting to this level. There's a lot of different like difficult things that you didn't want to go ahead and do but now that the grind is over you're open and free to do whatever you want if you haven't finished all of the quests yet well you have all of the stat requirements to finish the quests and exactly the same with the achievement diaries if you are maxed and you still don't have these done that is something that you could go ahead and go for get yourself the quest cape it is a lot of fun do all the achievement diaries might take you a long time but it is a lot of fun to go ahead and do and also go for things like the music cape or maybe the champions cape just other types of content on this game just besides maxing that you can go ahead and do and surprisingly it can be a lot of fun and be a huge grind even now is the time you can try new things. Say you've never done raids before, go ahead and get yourself a team and go do something like raids. Any of the raids, raids 1, 2, 3, it doesn't even matter. Or even go bossing or PVMing something that you've always wanted. Maybe you want the Vorkath pet, go to Vorkath, kill Vorkath a hundred times, get the pet and make a ton of money in the process. You're free and open to do whatever you want now. Now, I'm sure we all have a favorite skill on RuneScape, and for me, it is definitely Slayer. So when you are max, go ahead and train your favorite skill, whatever that might be, whether it be cooking or Slayer or fishing. It doesn't really matter. Train the skill that you enjoy the most on this game. The reason I love Slayer so much is because it, it's different all the time, right? One day you're killing Bloodveils, and the next day you're at a boss like Hydra. For me, Slayer and PVM kind of go together where I absolutely just love this part of the game. It is so rewarding and it's so cool to see the boss KC go up. It's so cool to collect all of the pets from it. You make a ton of money here and it's overall just gives you a lot of game knowledge on every different type of boss, right? For example, I personally find Zalra to be a very difficult boss compared to something like Hydra or Vorkath. Now, other people say opposite of me, right? It's just a personal preference, but if you can get a lot of time killing bosses, going for PVM pets, and just training Slayer in general, you will get extremely extremely good at this game which you can take um, all of that knowledge into things like raids later or maybe new quest bosses or whatever it might be. The next thing is going to be clue scrolls. Now a lot of people, even myself, didn't really pay attention to clue scrolls at the start of the account. They are really fun especially if you are an Iron Man. Clue scrolls, there's a bunch of different tiers of them there's easy or sorry there's beginner then there's easy then there is medium and then there is uh, hard and then there's also elite and master so there's tons of different types of clue scrolls that you can go ahead and do around the game and you can get tons of crazy cool rewards some of them being very rare and some of them being like max cash if you get very lucky with something like a third age pickaxe or whatever honestly clue scrolls are really fun going ahead and around the game and building all the stash units for them you can make a ton of money doing it and they're just some of the best content in the entire game. I'm going to be focusing a lot more on clue scrolls and uh, just doing all of the collections for the clue scrolls. When you're finally maxed, another great thing you could go ahead and do is get yourself very organized. Make yourself a very clean and appealing bank to go ahead and look at. Honestly, having a nice bank has made it so much more efficient whenever I want to do anything like a farm run, go to a boss, or even just skilling right it just i know where everything is in my bank and it makes it so much easier to look at and it just when you're clean it just feels way better honestly i, do, I hate 
coming into a bank when it's like extremely messy and I just have to search for everything. I don't know where anything is. It's a nightmare. So get yourself organized, even get your health, your house, POH organized. It will make the biggest difference ever. Next would be the collection log. There is so many different things to go ahead and collect in the collection log. You have all of the boss drops, which you can go ahead and try and complete these. Good luck to you on that. There is so many and some of them are extremely rare. There is all of the raid collection logs, the chambers of Zarek, the theater of blood, and the tombs of a masket. We have, like I was talking about before, all of the clue scrolls and all of the rewards in the clue scrolls. It's very cool to go ahead and try and complete all of these. It will take you a very long time but it could be something to go for then we also have the mini games you can go ahead and try and complete all of the mini games that would be very interesting to go ahead and do one day and we have things like other types of rewards like the cyclopses for example with all of the defenders we have all of the pets we have like things like the monkey backpacks which you can go for the mother load mine all of these different activities in the game you can go ahead and try and complete the collection logs for it this will give you thousands and thousands of hours of content we also have the combat achievements which you can clearly see i really need to work on these are kind of just like achievement diaries for combat right so if we go ahead and click into the easy one we can see we uh and go to let's see the um incompleted ones i can go ahead and see right here all i'd have to do is kill this guy once and that is a combat achievement they obviously get a lot harder the the more in depth you go into it but uh if we go for grandmaster for example we can just try and see one this one just to uh kill next with two or less prayer players inside the arena so they get extremely difficult obviously at the end right and there's inferno ones all of the bosses in the game it's very good content to go ahead and do and you can obviously get some crazy rewards from it in here as well it tells you the total number of bosses that you've killed the amount of skilling bosses that you've killed the amount of raids you've completed that is really embarrassing my top boss is the alchemical hydra yeah it's it's a really cool thing you can go ahead and do and i will definitely be jumping into this content when i feel like it honestly i don't think i'll ever get grandmaster but maybe i can get a leader hard that'd be cool the next thing you can do after maxing is make a ton of money whether you be an iron man or even a regular account getting money is so good whenever you're done maxing you can focus on things like i've said like pvm where you just make so much money and you can collect all of the great items in the game that you have always wanted make yourself have like a twisted bow or whatever it might be your your favorite end goals you can actually go ahead and achieve now right you don't need to be saving your money anymore for herbal or experience you can spend that on actual gear to just get better at the game i'm so excited to dump it to jump into some raids and some bossing and finally upgrade the gear on the iron man we've been rocking the leather bodies pretty much all the way from day one so it'd be really nice to get some bandos or some armadale and maybe one day get myself a twisted bow that would just be so crazy but anyways yeah after you max there's so much content that you can go ahead and do on this game you should never really give up on your account i mean you worked this hard on it already so why give up now anyways thank you guys so much for watching the video today if you went ahead and watched the whole video go ahead and comment swordfish down in the comments below thank you guys and i will catch you in the next one see ya later